Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Did Amy Slanton get engaged amid drug charges? It's been a wild ride for the star of 1,000 Pound Sisters. Just recently, during a family outing at the zoo, she allegedly faced an unusual incident, a camel bite. Things took a chaotic turn when emergency services arrived, and police detained Amy and a man identified as Brian Scott Lovorn for drug possession. Despite these turbulent events, rumors are swirling that Amy may be engaged. Following her dramatic breakup with Michael Halterman, fans of the show are rooting for Amy to find happiness, but there is a palpable concern about her choices, especially regarding her responsibilities as a mother to her young sons. Is now the right time for an engagement given the circumstances? Currently, not many details are known about Brian Scott Lovorn, but it's clear he has a strong bond with Amy, possibly something more intimate. The situation escalated when police arrested both of them at the zoo, after discovering illegal drugs in their vehicle, leading to additional charges of child endangerment due to the presence of Amy's children during the incident. Now, as Amy faces court proceedings, a striking detail has emerged that has caught public attention. During her court appearance, she was spotted wearing a noticeable ring on her left ring finger. The speculation is rampant. Could this be an engagement ring? Knowing Amy, it wouldn't be surprising. After parting ways with Michael Halterman, Amy has been linked to several men, but it appears that Brian Lovorn is currently the only person in her life. Fans are eagerly anticipating answers, especially with the new episodes of 1000 Pound Sisters set to air on TLC. The arrest at the zoo raises questions, particularly about the camel bite incident itself. The zoo's owner has challenged Amy's claim, stating, We dispute that Amy was bitten by a camel because there is no bruising. She cut her arm on something. It's not consistent with an animal bite. He added that Lawvorn was causing quite a scene, agitated by the police presence, which raises further doubts about the entire situation. However, Amy's legal representation insists that the camel bite did indeed occur, leaving fans on the edge of their seats as they await further developments. So, what do you think? Is Amy Slayton ready to walk down the aisle or should she focus on her family? What are your thoughts on the zoo incident and the alleged camel bite? We'd love to hear from you, so share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to follow the Spoiler Squad for all the latest updates on TLC and your favorite reality stars.